What's up everybody? Welcome back. We're down at the pond today. Just saw a big fish jump out there. Maybe I need to have my fishing pole instead of uh, the tractor and the sickle bar here. But uh, we're going to get a little um, pond bank mowing done today. It's not, it's not terrible, but you can see a lot of the stuff along the edge here. I'll show you closer in a minute that's uh, growing up. That uh, One of the main reasons I got this Frontier uh, SB3107 sickle bar. There's a previous video I did on it a while back when I first got it if you uh, haven't checked that out but anyway uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit of this stuff knocked down today and uh, it's pretty dry right now so you know hope I can get you know close enough to the edge to uh, get out there uh, in seven foot reach on this bar so uh, we'll see uh, see if we can get this done let me go ahead and uh, unhook the uh, you, know, you got a couple of uh, rods and stuff here that uh, you know you put in place when you're you know, transporting it and moving around and everything. So uh, let me get those out of the way and we'll get busy. The only thing I haven't found, and I read the manual, and is be nice if there were somewhere on here to to hook and store some of these um, transport rods, but. I don't know, I could probably rig something up, I'm pretty sure. Might be on my winter list of things to do. So we got one more right here. We got a pull. And then that gets rid of all the, you know, because you're, you're driving around, this thing's shaking, and, you know, you don't want this, you know, nothing to get broke loose. So, all right, huh? Let's get her fired up and see what we can do.
you got that pretty good. There's a little bit there that's uh, a bit far out there. Just, uh, you know, obviously don't want to get stuck and you know, get down a little close to the edge there. You can see right here, starting to dig in a little bit right there. But uh, but anyway, you got at least where you now, you can come down and uh, throw out your line and do a little fishing without, uh, you know, all the weeds and where it so much about uh, what you can't see under your feet, like a snake or something like that. All right, let's move on to the next spot. That wraps it up for that. Didn't have a whole lot to, to mow there. But uh, let's put the support rods back on. So yeah, main thing is um, if you're doing this for somebody else and mowing around a pond you're not too familiar with, you better walk it first and see where the holes are, rocks, stumps. Because you can definitely get yourself in trouble if you don't kind of survey the property first. I mean, yeah, fortunately here, been around here long enough, I pretty much know all the little ruts and holes. Still don't mean you can't, there was one or two places back there that uh, you know, still wanted to sink in on me, so you gotta kinda, you know, back up and regroup. Cause you already know the tires on this tractor are not the best when it comes to, of course I had it in four wheel drive, Still not the best when it comes to mud. So, but anyway, serves its purpose and uh, gets the job done. When you're talking about a you know pond or a ditch bank and in incline, it comes in very handy. Uh, you know, I know flail mower uh, works well too. But uh, as I said in the previous video, I got a got a deal on this so. Had an older one that was all manually operated. The uh, arm, you know, you had to manually operate it. So, figured I'd take the opportunity to get get an upgrade. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, appreciate everybody joining me. Hope y'all have happy and safe days ahead, and stay out of the heat.